Now, summer is almost here. In fact, tomorrow is the first day of summer, and the weather is heating up. So now is a perfect time to make sure your HVAC system is functioning properly. That's what our friends from Complete Comfort are here for. Brittany and Wyatt have joined us. And uh, guys, welcome back to the show. Uh, always glad to have you guys here. So we're talking about getting a tune-up. Why do we need to get a tune-up, and should we get one every year? Yeah, that's an excellent question. So uh, we recommend getting a tune-up uh, every year, actually twice a year, during the summertime and the wintertime. Um, this is just going to help your system run properly, make sure you don't have any issues over the summertime, and then when your system's running properly, it's going to save your utility bills, too. So it's just a great idea to get done. Save money. Save you money. Know, like it's to essentially save making everything run more efficiently. Yeah. You know, getting a professional set of eyes on your system is really just going to make sure everything is running smoothly. Okay, and how do home, homeowners here, how do they get a, an HVAC tune-up? Well, you could call us, so call our team or visit our website at completecomfortgo.com. We actually have a really awesome special right now for tune-ups, $69 for our Wish TV viewers. It's regularly $129, which is a really uh, awesome deal. Yeah, Yeah, that is really great there. So in regards to uh, my getting a tune-up here, what, what happens when you guys do a tune-up? Is it simple? You come in five minutes later and you're gone, or does it... Take yeah. a couple hours or what? Yeah, well, we have actually a pretty thorough process, so we use a lot of different tools. This is actually a pressure gauge pressure right gauge. here, yeah. yeah. And so what we're going to do um, is we're going to do a visual inspection of the unit, make sure everything looks okay. We're also going to do an audible inspection as well, but this gauge right here is going to check the refrigerant levels. A lot of homeowners find that their system doesn't work as properly as it should, um, and that could be that it's low in refrigerant. So we're going to use gauges like that as well as a voltmeter, so we're going to check the amperage uh, coming up from your system, making sure everything's up with manufacturer specs. We do a whole big list of, of things, really. We try to take care of our customers. Okay, this may be a dumb question for me, probably is, but Freon, is that a thing of the past here? Didn't they outlaw Freon years ago? Or? Yeah, well, um, it, refrigerant is just kind of the a canvassing term that we like to use. So um, older systems use R22 refrigerant, so today um, we're using uh, 410A is the refrigerant that we use. So, mm -hmm. And they're getting more efficient every year, right? Well, absolutely, yeah. Uh, the systems that we have now, um, they're way more efficient than they were 10 years ago, and so people can really save a lot of money um, upgrading their system with a newer efficient system. So if you're, if you're getting a tune-up every year, and that, how long can you make your system last? 10 years, 12, 15? Well, or? That's a great question. I mean, uh, I would say it's just kind of like it how often... It depends on how well you do the tune-up. Yeah, exactly. I mean, just like changing the oil in your car. You know, you want to take care of your car if you want it to last a long time. We advise the same with the AC tune-up. Yeah, your HVAC system is like the lungs of your house yeah. and so you want to get that checked out just like you do with anything else like like um, Wyatt mentioned with your car like it's just making sure everything's going to be running smoothly and the more you do that the more likely your system is going to last longer yeah I, I got another question too we have the uh, you know the Facebook question of the day here what temperature <laughs> do you want to set your thermostat at some people just said it that was 72 year round is that good to do I like to set ours at 74 mm -hmm. during the summer months and 68 during the winter months mm -hmm. Am I, is my wife smart or <laughs> should we switch this back? A, a you got to listen to the boss right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, you know, there's two different rules of thought. Um, you can set your temperature stat for um, utility savings. Um, you can also set it for comfort levels. So, you know, there's really no right or wrong reason. Um, just kind of what's, what your preference is. Yeah, and if you're always changing it back and forth, you're going to, you know, use even more energy, right? That's right. You should probably yeah. just leave it there. Yeah, just kind of keep it at, you know, a good way to save energy is if you leave the home, if you have a programmable. Um, Wi-Fi thermostat, you can actually uh, increase the temperature while you're gone because so you're not there. Kind of make sure that your system doesn't run as often, and then when you come back home, you can lower it. Okay. Um, that's kind of a strategy as well. Okay, and if people want more information, they can go right here to this QR code right here and go to lifestylelive.tv uh, and find out more. So, Wyatt, Brittany, thanks again. Yeah, thanks so much. Always great to have Thank you guys you. here. So, there you go.